Hey, all you cool cats and fine felines. It's Leah and Lynn. And today we're in Chicago in front of one of the best examples, examples of Frank Lloyd Wright architecture. One of the best examples of prairie style architecture. Yeah. So follow us and we're going to look around. So, Lynn, what are we going to do? Get into the groove. Yeah, Neil. This is here at the University of Chicago. Yeah. So this house was designed in between 1909 and 1910. Yes. Um, Frank Lloyd Wright did all of the furnishings for this house. It was $10,000 just for the furnishing. The land cost $13,000. And altogether, the house and um, the building and everything was $58,000 and Frank Lloyd Wright had a thing like to hide the front door um, and this this house is no exception the, the beautiful stained glass that he used on so many of his homes but really this house is breathtaking You got the address down there, 5757. Dude, when we were here last time, we could go up those steps. If you see, they use different color mortar. For the head joints and the bed joints. Yeah. This is one color of mortar that they laid the brick on and to, to butter the brick for the, the head joints, they use a different color mortar. And Lynn used to be a mason, so he knows it, how hard that would be. How tedious that would, it's, that is. You see how it keeps the lines just looking straight, just parallel. When you look at it, it, it gives the illusion that it's just kind of one long brick. But it's really because of the mortar. Uh, I'm huge architecture enthusiast, so this is like a dream. Frank Lloyd Wright is your favorite architect, though. Absolutely. <laughs> One of my favorite human beings ever. I can just listen to him talk about architecture and his passion, and it, it brings me to tears. Now, the, the guy that Frank Lloyd Wright designed this house for, Mr. Roby, he was kind of uh, ahead of his time. People in the, the neighborhood thought he was, I mean, kind of strange. And he took a chance on Frank Lloyd Wright and uh, just kind of gave him carte blanche to, to, to do whatever he wanted. And uh, I mean, Frank Lloyd Wright came through in spades. I can't even imagine living in a place like this, it's it's a work of art. Isn't this place a work of art? It's beautiful. Can you imagine waking up every day in this house? Uh, and the way that Frank Lloyd Wright's designs complemented the land, and that's that's what it was all about. I mean, he he uh, would would take a piece of property and see. He would see the design in his head and draw the house, the, the plans, so it complemented the land that it was built on. And he had a thing for being able to see through the house, like standing here, you'd be able to look through the window and see through the outside of the other house. If Like the see-through uh, fireplaces in the middle of the building, in the middle of the room. Look at the, the glass. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like iridescent. It's so beautiful. I would have loved to have met Frank Lloyd Wright and just talked to him. 
He's a fascinating person. I would like to go inside this house. I know, we've been here twice now and both times it's been closed, so. But just being here is, is a treat. Last time we got to go in, in the stairs though. We did, it's roped off this time. And it's smack dab in the middle of the Chicago University. Chicago, University of Chicago. It's a beautiful There's campus. Lots of beautiful architecture all around us. Yeah. So, now this is kind of a short video, but we had to stop and just uh, take a look at this beauty one more time and, and share it with y'all. All right, thanks so much for joining us on this little bitty tour of the Roby House in Chicago. So, Lynn, what do you think our viewers should do? I think our viewers should hit that subscribe button, tune into our videos. It would help hit us the... out a lot. If you like our videos, if you're watching this video, hit subscribe. And um, until next time, stay groovy.